we're back, and we're here with Kevin James. Sure. Not the King of Queens guy, just no, to... No, no, no. Very different, very different. And uh, you uh, helped to put together this whole Flim Fest? Yes. Uh, back in 2004, my buddy, my partner in crime, Joe Botch, and I, we started Flim Fest together in my backyard. Uh, and this is our seventh year, our eighth Flim Fest, and it's just grown and escalated every year since. Wonderful. Now, for those who are not familiar with Flim Fest and are watching here in the World Wide Web, what can they expect when they come down to a Flim Fest? Uh, Flim Fest sort of embodies that spirit that uh, old children's television had back in the 90s, where uh, there's something for everybody. It is kid-friendly, but it doesn't go out of its way to kind of uh, limit the entertainment we can give folks. Uh, it's part concert, part movie festival, part spiritual revival. Uh, I liken it to a, uh, uh, a music festival only with movies, which is kind of a simple way to put it. Um, there's a lot of funny movies that get shown. So the, there's a lot of audience interaction already because there's a lot of laughter and people kind of shouting out at the screen. Um, most people in the theater worked on something that's being shown. So everyone has a personal investment to the things being screened. Uh, we also do a lot of stage antics. We'll have people come out on stage and do Q&As with the audience. Uh, we'll do uh, you know little concerts at the beginning or during intermissions to kind of get people's blood flowing again. Uh, you'll rarely have an hour go by at Flim Fest where a surprise doesn't go down. Uh, this year I mean, we, we're giving out a surprise award during the intermission, which is something really fun we try to do every year. Uh, we're going to be having like a big, you know, smoke machine and strobe light opening because it's the year 2010. We live in the future now. So we're doing, hence the two ties because we live in the future. Uh, That's the wave of the future? Oh, yeah. So it's, it's basically, it's a movie festival, but it's, um, it never takes itself too seriously. We try to have high production values so the whole thing looks and sounds great, but we're never afraid to make fun of ourselves. And that's what I think sets Flim Fest apart. Well, sounds great. Now, we're here on the World Wide Web, as you well know, productionliveonline.com. Now, somebody watching us here on the World Wide Web is probably saying to themselves, hey, this Flim Fest, it sounds pretty darn cool. How can I learn more about it? Oh, hold on. Let me just put on a second tie so I can be all modern. Yeah, seriously, you're embarrassing yourself. Yeah. All right. There we go. Now I'm all futuristic if, and hip to today's drive. If anybody out there on the internet would like to learn more about Flimfest, they only have to go to flimfest.com. Uh, we have documents and uh, photos and videos from every year we've done this. Uh, last year we even uh, have a few newspaper articles. Uh, going back to even to 2007, I think, we have articles from the Herald, the Patriot Ledger, uh, the Weekly Dig, uh, the Old Colony Memorial, all the local papers. Uh, there's no shortage of information about Flimfest. We've done a pretty good job documenting it so well sounds great and i wish you the best of luck with the film festival yep. we're gonna two tie it away and i'm dan mccready and we are here at flim fest production live